Good morning, and welcome to the Irene W. Pennington Planetarium at the Louisiana Art and Science Museum. My name is Chandra, and I'm the Education Coordinator for the Louisiana Art and Science Museum. And at this time, I'm going to present to you stargazing. So everyone, come on, let's look up and see what we can find out in our sky tonight. daytime star of the sun sets for the evening in the eastern portion of our sky we want you to take a look into the sky and look for a bright bright object and that bright bright object is going to be that planet by the name of Venus now as Venus comes in you can take a look at Venus out in your sky tonight and you can find Venus with the unaided eye which means that you do not need binoculars or telescope to find Venus tonight so we encourage you to take a look out there once that daytime star of the sun sets for the evening and see if you can find that planet by the name of Venus. You all know that we're in that season by the name of spring. So every time the seasons change, so does your night sky. And at this time, let's begin our tour. As we take a look, we're going to begin in the northern portion of our sky. And I want to point to a bright object in the sky tonight. Oh, it's the most famous star in our night sky. And it tells us that this is true north. This is called the North Star. And if you notice, the North Star is in the handle of what we call the Little Dipper. Now take a look up there. Do you see the Little Dipper in the sky up above? Well, of course you do. If you take a look at it, the Little Dipper sort of looks like a spoon that you could use to serve soup or gumbo out of a pot. But before we focus on the Little Dipper, let me ask you a question and think about it for a moment. What are groups of stars that forms those geometrical shapes and patterns in our sky and are out there according to the season and the time in which we take a look into the night sky is going to be your seasonal constellations. So let's meet those spring friends that are out in our sky tonight. Now let's go back and meet the Little Dipper with the North Star in the handle of the Little Dipper. Are you still taking a look at the Little Dipper? Oh, there it is. All right, now remember I told you, it looks like a spoon that you could use to serve super gumbo out of a pot. Now as you use your imagination and you look at the Little Dipper, I want you to use your imagination and form a picture. If you were to form a picture, what would we find? It would be a little bear by the name of Ursa Minor. But look in the northern portion of the sky. I also see a group of stars that forms a big dipper in the sky. Oh my, take a look at the Big Dipper. But if we take a look at the Big Dipper, we will find that it is a group of stars there that forms a Big Dipper. But there are more stars out there that forms a Big Bear by the name of Ursa Major. So you see, Ursa Major is the constellation's name. And the Big Dipper, that's a subset of stars within that constellation. It's called an asterism. And that's why we call it the Big Dipper. So in the northern portion of your spring sky, we want you to take a look out there for the Little Dipper, better known as Ursa Minor, and the Big Dipper, better known as Ursa Major. But what we're going to do at this time, we're going to take the North Star, and we're going to travel into the southern portion of the sky to meet a star that represents the heart of a lion. And that lion's name is Leo the Lion. To find Leo in your sky, simply look for the stars that forms a backwards question mark for his head. His body will be a square and his tail will be a triangle. Are you using your imagination? Come on, do you see a Leo the Lion? There he is, the big lion, out in your sky tonight. Now, stargazers, let's go back to the North Star. And let's travel over to the Big Dipper. As we travel over to the Big Dipper, I want you to take the handle of the Big Dipper and call it the Ark. And we're going to arc on over to a bright red star by the name of Arcturus. And Arcturus is the brightest star in the constellation known as Bootes out in your sky tonight. Now he's the herdsman out in your sky. When you take a look into the sky, he sort of looks like a kite out there in your sky tonight. Ah, do you see a kite? But I've also heard that some people think they see an ice cream cone. 
<laughs> oh, well, it doesn't matter. I see a kite and I also see an ice cream cone. But use your imagining form a picture of the herdsman out in your sky tonight. Then we will leave Arcturus and speed on over to Spica. Now, Spicus, the blue white star, located in that zodiac constellation by the name of Virgo the Maiden. Now, if you take a look at Virgo in your sky tonight, when you look for those group of stars, she's going to form groups of stars that forms a jigsaw puzzle piece out in your sky tonight. Are you using your imagination? Let's form a picture of Virgo the Maiden out in our sky. Well, guys, those are our seasonal constellations that can be found in our sky for the spring. But I'd like for you to take a look into the sky and see if you see a more groups of stars that forms geometrical shapes and patterns in the sky. And of course you do. Take a look up there. Because now there are 88 constellations that can be seen in your sky according to the season and the time. Remember, your night sky is sort of like a magical storybook with all sorts of characters. It just depends on the season and the time in which you take a look into your night sky to find your seasonal friends. Say goodbye to your seasonal friends, boys and girls. We'll see you later, constellations. At this time, I want to thank you all for tuning in today. We encourage you all to continue to observe the night sky here at the Irene W. Pennington Planetarium, and I'll see you next time for stargazing. Have a good evening.